I have a question here, try to answer. Input stream class is which type of class? There are totally 6 types of classes available in Java. What are the 6 types of classes? Number 1, interface, abstract class, concrete class, final class, enum, annotation. Totally 6 types of classes are there to implement real world object in Java programming world at different levels as part of object oriented programming. So, here we have 6 classes. Among these 6 classes, if you want to create super class, we will use 3 classes. What are they? Interface, abstract class, concrete class. Then tell me. Input stream class is which type of class? Is it an interface or abstract class, concrete class? I hope you know the difference between all these three. If I want to declare all operations of my object to be implemented by my subclasses, then we should choose interface. Some of the operations I want to implement, some of the operations I want to declare to be implemented by my subclasses, then we should choose abstract class. All operations I want to implement and I want to let subclass just to reuse all my operations, then we should choose concrete class as super class. This point is as part of object oriented programming right. So, now again repeating the point now in input stream class has a several methods there are totally 9 methods are there ok on input stream we can perform 9 operations to perform these 9 operations we have 9 methods available catch my point then among all these 9 operations if you carefully observe from one source to another source the changing operation is only read remaining all operations logic is same. Again repeating, I want you to choose input stream must be what type of super class you must choose. For that purpose, please try to listen my statement. Input stream is providing totally 9 operations means 9 methods. Among these 9 methods, 8 methods implementation logic is common to all these different sources. Only one operation implementation is changed is read operation implementation changing then input stream should be what type of super class is it a interface or abstract class or concrete class come on decide input stream is a come on some of the operations are implemented some of the operations are declared then it is what ac abstract class it is abstract class because only read method we have to declare remaining methods no need to declare they are implemented common so hence input stream class is what abstract class same point is applicable to output stream class also ah, output stream class is what now again abstract class because Output stream class is providing operations. Among these six operations, one operation logic only changing from one destination to another destination. Remaining all operations are common. The, that operation I hope you know already write method. So, now only write method logic changing remaining operations implementation logic is same. Hence, what is the important point? Output stream class output stream class is a uh, abstract class because one operation only declared remaining operations are implemented. Let us try to summarize the points we discussed in this session right. Point number one we understand input stream class and output stream class contain several subclasses ok. Why there are several subclasses for input stream and output stream classes? These several subclasses are coming number two point number two based on different sources and different destinations for reading and writing data. What are the different sources and what are the different destinations we have analyzed? Based on these different sources and different destinations we discuss the point. Uh, read and write method, read and write method contain different implementations. Because they are contain different implementations, we have to provide the implementation for these two methods in different different classes. That is why we have several subclasses. And finally, we have decided read method and write method cannot be a implemented method they must be what abstract methods because they are abstract methods point number five we decided input stream class and output stream class are okay what are they come and tell me abstract classes they cannot be concrete classes so these are the points i wanted to discuss in this particular session right so what are the points we discussed let us try to recollect point number one input stream and output stream class are having several subclasses we cannot create the object directly from input stream output stream classes 
okay why they have several subclasses because they are having there are so many sources to read the data and there are so many sources to store the data based on the source and destination we have to uh, create separate stream object because their way of reading and the way of writing is changing hence the operation methods read and read operation method write operation method implementation logic is changing hence read and write methods are what abstract methods the class that contain uh, abstract methods and concrete methods both together is abstract class hence input stream and output stream classes are abstract classes so these are the points i want to discuss in this session i hope all you people got clarity on different sources and different destinations and why input stream class and output stream class contain several subclasses okay thank you for uh, watching this video in the next session we will discuss input stream list of subclasses and output stream list of subclasses we will understand so again for the next video the base is what this session so please try to watch this session and try to write your own notes and then try to follow me the next session okay thank you for watching this session subscribe for narayshati channel for more videos and more updates okay thank you